In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, open our lips. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us come before the Lord, giving Give thanks. thanks. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him, giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. Let us, Let us come, come before, before the Lord, Lord giving, giving thanks. thanks. Almighty God is the Lord, the great King above all gods. His depths hands are the depths of the earth, heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Let us come Amen. before the Lord, giving thanks. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Let us come before the Lord, giving thanks. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Let us come, come before, before the Lord, Lord giving thanks. For oh, forty years you were I was wearied of these people, and I said to the hearts of astray, these people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Let us Amen. come before the Lord, giving thanks. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us come before the Lord, giving thanks. Hymn 961. Lead the kindly light amid the encircling gloom. Lead thou me on. The night is dark and I am far from home. Lead thou me on. Keep thou my feet. I do not ask to see the distant scene. One step enough for me. I was not ever thus, nor prayed that thou should lead me on. I love to choose and see my path, but now lead thou me on. I love the garish day, and spite of fears, pride rule my will, remember not past years. So long thy power hath blessed me, sure it still will lead me on. Or more and fen, or crag and torrent till the night is gone. And with the morn those angel faces smile, which I have loved long since, and lost a while. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord, in the morning you hear me. To my words give ear, O Lord, give heed to my groaning. Attend to the sound of my cries, my King and my God. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord, in the morning you hear me. In the morning I offer you my prayer, watching and waiting. You are no God who loves evil, no sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil. You destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty man the Lord detests. But I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, Lord, in your justice, because of those who lie in wait. Make clear your way before me. No truth can be found in their mouths, their heart is all mischief, their throat a wide open grave, all honey their speech. All those you protect shall be glad and ring out their joy. You shelter them, in you they rejoice, those who love your name. It is you who bless the just man, Lord, who surround him with favour as with a shield. And be a father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord, in the morning you hear me. Lord our God, we praise the splendor of your name. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty 
for all that is in the heavens and in the earth is yours. Yours is a kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. Those riches and honour come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might. In your hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. And now we thank you, our God, and praise your glorious name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord Amen. our God, we praise, we praise the, the splendour of Amen. your name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. O oh, give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power, give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters, the Lord on the immensity of waters, the voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendour. The Lord's voice shattering the cedars, the Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon, he makes Lebanon leap like a calf, and Syrian like a young <coughs> wild ox. The Lord's, the Lord's voice, voice shaken the wilderness, the Lord <coughs> shakes the wilderness of Karshis, the Lord's voice rendering the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The Lord of glory thunders. In his temple all cry glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to the people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Adore the Lord in his holy court. A reading from the second letter to the Thessalonians. We gave you a rule when we were with you, not to let anyone have any food if he refused to do any work. Now we hear that there are some of you who are living in idleness, doing no work themselves, and interfering with everyone else's. In the Lord Jesus Christ, we order and call on people of this kind to go on quietly working and earning the food that they eat. My brothers never grow tired of doing what is right. Blessed be the Lord from age to age. Blessed be the Lord from age to age. He alone has wrought marvellous works. From age to age. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Lord from age to age. <coughs> Blessed be the Lord our God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David, his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old. A saviour would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham, our father, to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God, the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. Make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, our God. As the new day begins, let us praise Christ, in whom is the fullness of grace and the Spirit of God. Bless your Spirit. We praise you, Lord, and we thank you for all your blessings. Lord, give us your spirit. Give us peace of mind and generosity of heart. Grant us health and strength to do your will. 
Lord, give us your spirit. May your Lord be with us during the day. Guide us in our work. Lord, give us your spirit. Be with all those we have asked for our prayers and grant them all their needs. Lord, give us your spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, be the beginning and end of all that we do and say. Prompt our actions with your grace and complete them with your all-powerful help. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safely today and all the days of our lives. Amen. Let us pray for priests. Eternal Father, we thank you for every priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation of his brothers and sisters. We give thanks to those priests who have brought us your word of proof the grace of the sacraments, and above all, the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up new and generous occasions to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call, and enable them not to be afraid, but to recognize the joy of giving their whole lives and love. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, everyone. I'm asked this morning for Christine Noble. We come together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. 
Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Maccabees. There grew a sinful offshoot, Antichus of Aphaeus, son of King Antichus. Once a hostage in Rome, he became king in the 137th year of the kingdom of the Greeks. It was then that there emerged from Israel a set of renegades who led many people astray. Come, they said, let us reach an understanding with the pagans surrounding us. For since we separated ourselves from them, many misfortunes have overtaken us. This proposal proved acceptable, and a number of the people eagerly approached the king, who authorized them to practice the pagan observances. So they built a a gymnasium in Jerusalem, such as the pagans have, disguise their circumcision and abandon the holy covenant, submitting to the heathen rule as willing slaves of impiety. Then the king issued a proclamation to his own kingdom that all were to become a single people, each renouncing his particular customs. All the pagans conformed to the king's decree and many Israelites chose to accept his religion, sacrificing to idols and profaning the Sabbath. On the 15th day of Chislev, in the year 145, the king erected an abomination of desolation above the altar, and altars were built in the surrounding towns of Judah, and incense offered at the doors of houses and in the streets. Any books of the law that came to light were turned up, torn up and burned. Whenever anyone was discovered possessing a copy of the covenant or practicing the law, the king's decree sentenced him to death. Yet there were many in Israel who stood firm and found the courage to refuse unclean food. They chose death rather than contamination by such fair or profanation of the Holy Covenant, and they were executed. It was a dreadful wrath that visited Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give me life, Lord, that I will, and I will do your will. Give me me life, life, Lord, Lord, and I I will will do do your your will. will. I am seized with indignation at the wicked, who forsake your law. Though the nets of the wicked ensnared me, I remembered your law. Give me life, O Lord, Lord, and I I will will do do your your will. will. Redeem me from man's oppression, and I will keep your precepts. Those who harm you unjustly draw near, they are far from your law. Give me life, life, O Lord, Lord, and and I I will do your will. will. Salvation is far from the wicked, who are heedless of your statutes. I look at the faithless with disgust. They ignore your promise. Give me life, life, O Lord, Lord, and and I I will do do your your will. will. Let us stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Hallelujah.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus drew near to Jericho, there was a blind man sitting at the side of the road, begging. When he heard the crowd going past, he asked what it was all about, and they told him that Jesus the Nazarene was passing by. So he called out, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people in front scolded him, told him to keep quiet, but he shouted all the louder, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and ordered them to bring the man to him. And when he came up, he asked him, What do you want me to do for you? Sir, he replied, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Receive your sight. Your faith has saved you. And instantly his sight returned. And he followed him, praising God. And all the people who saw it gave praise, gave praise to God for what had happened. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. He lived in darkness, no daylight to distract him, but he had heard, as others heard, that this traveling preacher who healed people. To others, this man was a spectacle to look at, but to the blind man in today's gospel, he was so much more. This man might heal him. More than that, this man was something else, the blind man must have pondered on it. And what did this preacher and healer mean? Who was he to have such power? And so on the day when the crowd came by and disturbed his settled begging spot, the man asked who it was, and when told, shouted out. And what he shouted tells us what he believed. This man was something special, cried out, son of David. When we cry out that name, when we come face to face with the Lord in prayer, he asks us simply, as he asks the blind man, what do you want me to do for you? We can do no better than to ask as the blind man asked, Lord, let me see again. Give me the vision of life that grows bright every day. Help me to look at this world and on others as you look on them. Let the brightness of my life come, not so much from the brightness of the day, but from the joy of a peaceful heart. Today, let me follow you, even to Jerusalem. Father in heaven, in the midst of a noise and busy world, help us each day to be still in your presence, to ponder your word, and to recognize you in every person we meet. We ask this through Christ our Lord. We ask the Lord to bless Pope Francis, send his Holy Spirit to guide him Help him with the every responsibilities that he carries. Lord, hear us. Pray for our own Bishop Mark and for all our diocese. We may all be open to the Spirit working in our lives. Recognize that Spirit in others too. Lord, hear us. Pray for peace in the world, especially in the land that Jesus walked and in the Ukraine. 
pray for all those who suffer as a result of the war today. Lord, hear us. Pray for peacemakers. They may be <coughs> encouraged and constant in their efforts to bring ceasefires in the wars around us. Lord, hear us. Pray for our sick, those sick in hospital, sick at home. We pray for their carers, all who look after them. Lord, hear us. Pray for ourselves. The Lord may give us strength and vision to see what he wants of each of us today and every day. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who've died, especially Christine, who we remember today, and all those who may die today, especially those that have no one to pray for them. The Lord may gather them into his life in heaven. Lord, hear us. We ask Our Lady and St. Joseph to join their prayers with ours as we present them to the Father. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord God, our Father, we ask you with full confidence to hear our prayers and grant our petitions, which we make through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bond of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 
holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your handmaid, Christine, whom, we, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died, in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace.
Lamb of God. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Soul of my Saviour, sanctify my breast. Body of Christ, be thou my saving guest. Blood of my Saviour, bathe me in thy tide. Wash me with water flowing from thy side. Strength and protection, may thy passion be. O blessed Jesus, hear and answer me. Deep in thy wounds, Lord, hide and shelter me so shall I never, never part from thee. Guard and defend me from the former line. In death's dark moments, make me only thine. Call me and bid me come to thee on high, where I may praise thee with thy saints for I. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go forth in peace. Have a good day, everyone. Immaculate Mary, our hearts are on fire. The title so wondrous fills all our desire. Ave, ave.
Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria.